Hi students, welcome to the session here at Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. I am Anirudha sir, your physics faculty over here. And today we are going to talk about the AEEE examination which is for the Amrita University. The full form of this uh, examination is Amrita en Entrance Examination for Engineering. So over here, Amrita campus, the Amrita University has multiple campuses. Most of them are in the southern part of India. Here's a list of all the locations for all the campuses. Now, <coughs> over here, most of them, Amravati is in Maharashtra and you would have Faridabad and Haryana. Other than that, almost all of them are towards the southern state. So, uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala over there, you would have the Amrita University campuses. So, this examination becomes especially important for you if you are from the southern part of India and want to stay in the southern part. It's a private exam because it's for the Amrita University, which is a private university. So the exam is also private. You don't get access to any government colleges through your scores or your performance in the AEEE examination. The exam duration is of one hour, uh, 150 minutes, which is technically two hours and 30 minutes. So two and a half hours is the duration of the exam. It's going to be an online exam and the language is going to strictly stay English. You don't have any other options over here. No vernacular options. You'd have a total questions, all of them would be MCQs and total 100 questions that you'll have to solve in 2 hours and 30 minutes in 150 minutes, which gives you an average of 1.5 minute for each question. So you can prepare according to that. There would be a total of four subjects besides physics, chemistry and maths. You also have English that you will have over there. So <clears throat> four subjects besides these, you also have English and you'd have 30 questions from physics, 25 from chemistry, from maths you have 40 and English you have 5 questions. As you can see the weightage of physics, chemistry and maths is all of them are different over there. Maximum weightage is given to maths, then physics and finally to chemistry. Least weightage, a little, little a few questions are also coming from English. The marking scheme, it has negative marking unlike many other private engineering exams which do not have negative marking. In the AEEE exam, you have negative marking of minus one for incorrect answers. Unattempted, you'd still get zero. But for the correct one, you have plus three, not plus four, you get plus three over here. So your total exam score becomes 300, so 100 questions plus three each. You have two attempts of that per year and the exam dates for 2024 are the phase one is from the 19th to the 22nd of January and phase two is from the 10th to the 14th of May. So one happens in the month of January and one much later after your JE main second attempt in the month of May. Result declaration is in May 2024. Again, this is a tentative date where it's not yet confirmed for this and there might be changes based on other factors. If you want more details about the AEEE examination, you can always check out this link that is provided over here to get all the details about the examination. That's it from this session. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next one.